My buddy picks me up, throws me in my own car, takes off, hits another car, and just floors it. And I always wondered what that exit looked like to those other pharmacists. <laughs> podcast called The Blackout Diaries. Please, one round of applause for Mr. Sean Flannery, everybody. I'm going to tell a story about the time I walked off a three-story building, fell onto concrete, broke my back in three places, and shattered my heel. And uh, I think if you're going to have an injury that bad where you almost die, doctors think you might be paralyzed, uh, it should be for something you're willing to die for, right? should be for something important. And mine was, I was trying to sneak into a Huey Lewis concert. <laughs> Huey Lewis and the News are my favorite band of all time. I love Huey Lewis and the News. And they were enormous in the 80s, and uh, you know, I grew up in the 80s, and then they, they sort of you know, weren't as big in the 90s. And it turns out, they were doing pharmacy conventions in Cleveland, Ohio. And my friend was training to be a pharmacist. He was very talented and he turns to me one day and he goes, uh, hey man, I'm going to this convention tonight for pharmacists, open bar, pretty cool. Also, Huey Lewis and the News are playing it. I'm like, oh, you gotta get me in. Like, that's my favorite band of all time. And he goes, I'm sorry, security's very tight. I, I don't think I can get you in. And I go, well, find some old guy that doesn't want to party late, and I'll use his credentials. And he did. I, and I went in as Bob Doppel <laughs> in Creative Healthcare Solutions from New Jersey. And I'm partying all night, and, and I end up at like this rich CEO pharmacy guy's apartment in Cleveland, and it's like amazing. And nobody else is drinking that hard at this point, but I'm still like really hitting it hard. And I yell, let's go to the roof, everyone. <laughs> And they're like, no, nah, you know, it's really not that kind of roof. Uh, I wouldn't do that, but I go up there anyways. And I'm so lost in like how beautiful this is and like how great of an evening it is that I just kind of like walk clean off the roof and fall three stories. Like, I just thought I had a little bit more roof, you know, like. Uh, I don't know if you've ever walked down steps and you think you got another step and you don't. You're like, whoa, like I thought I had another solid step of roof and it was not there. <laughs> I fall down. I don't know how long I'm unconscious for. I, I later learned that inside this room and the party, like I go up, I'm like, let's go to the roof. They're like, that's not a good idea. They later turn to my friend and they go, is he gonna be okay? And he goes, Bob Doppel? <laughs> is the most mistake-proof pharmacist I know. They then see me fall through the window. I hit the ground. I don't know how long I'm unconscious for. I come to, and I'm like triply confused because I have all these strangers above me and they're going, Bob? <laughs> Bob? Bob? And that's when it hits me, I go, oh shit. They think I'm Bob Doppel in Creative Healthcare Solutions. <laughs> and I panic because I was relatively certain I was gonna die from my injuries. So I think to myself, oh my God, I'm about to die and they're gonna call Bob Doppel's wife. <laughs> Like, she's gonna get this phone call, like, Bob's dead. Like, what happened? Heart attack? Stroke? Like, no, he walked off a three-story building. So I sit up and I go, I don't care what happens next. Nobody talks to my wife. <laughs> I just fall down to die. 
My buddy picks me up, throws me in my own car, takes off, hits another car, and just floors it. And I always wondered what that exit looked like to those other pharmacists. <laughs> they had to be like, wow, <laughs> that New Jersey office parties. <laughs> Bob Doppel just walked off a building, <laughs> told us not to tell his wife, <laughs> and I think his friend just stole a goddamn vehicle. <laughs> and we're driving now in this vehicle, uh, my car, and uh, my buddy turns, he's like, oh my God, Flannery, I, I saw you fall through that window. I thought you were dead. I'm like, me too, brother. I, I didn't think I'd ever see you again, man. And he's like, geez, I panicked. I didn't know, what, what am I gonna do if you die? And I, I know, I know. I go, you wanna know what's weird? As, uh, as I was falling, I, I thought I was gonna die, but I, I was totally comfortable because uh, I was singing the power of love in my head. <laughs> and I was at total peace. He starts laughing so hard, he loses control of my car and hits a tree. <laughs> so I've now been in two major accidents in about 45 seconds. Like, I don't even know if they get to the chorus of Power of Love in 45 seconds. I've been in two major collisions. We get out of the car, we walk back to his apartment. I go to bed, I think I'm fine. I wake up uh, the next day and I feel a little sore. I go into the ER and that's when I realize that I was so drunk, I literally walked off a roof and I didn't know I was falling. So I didn't bend my legs. So the force of the fall compressed my first three vertebrae. I got a compression fracture in my... The surgeon that was looking at the x-rays was a... Is a... Wha, wha, uh, uh, no, uh... This would mean you made no effort to adjust. <laughs> like at all no uh i mean like a 7-eleven clerk looking at like a 20 dollars bill or like nah uh said you've never seen the injury in anyone under the age of 92. he brought in another surgeon to look at it like just to show him and i will never forget what that other surgeon said to his residents as long as i live he held up the x-ray he goes this young man right here he walked off a roof I am talking Daffy Duck style. <laughs> that was his medical, his medical terminology for how I injured myself. But what was amazing is they both agreed that being drunk saved my life. Because they said that if I was sober, I would have realized I was falling, I would have braced for impact, it would have changed my center of gravity, and I might have hit my head. I learned that evening that every fall over 10 feet is lethal if you hit your head. So they said, being drunk actually saved your life. Now the nurse overheard this and she goes, of course, sober person may not have been on that roof. <laughs> You know, ma'am, uh, we don't need to cherry pick science <laughs> here, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if there's necessarily a moral of this story, but if you find yourself like on an unfamiliar roof just exploring at night, please, dear God, in the interest of safety, be drunk out of your mind. Thank you very much. Bye.